So what I've done here for my 3D rig, and I've, I've tested this, it actually works pretty good. First of all, this from the bottom to top is my little steady cam. This is one of the first ones I ever built based on another person's design, so I can't take credit for design, but here you go. What you do, I bought this piece of little this flat aluminum. I didn't drill these holes very straight, but I drilled them the best I could. I don't have a drill press. And I, I thought this might be kind of wonky and weird, but it actually works perfect. It's got these little three inch threaded, uh, what is this, I can't remember, quarter inch, 12, is that what those are? That are the same thing that's on the bottom of these of these uh, GoPros. And what you do, you stick it through the bottom. And then I thought about cutting these things off short, but it actually makes it real easy to spin these in there. Let's go in there and you get your hole kind of set. Watch me not be able to hit the hole. There we go. And you just turn that till it tightens. And so now it's tight on that. Now I take the wing nut and I can tighten this down nice and flat. And so now I've got one over here for one side. And I realize some people would say I'm really shooting way too wide, but I, the effect I got last night was pretty cool. So do the same thing over here. It just takes a second or two to, to tighten it up. Turn your wing nut till you get good and tight. There we go. And now I've got them. Now what, what I try to do is, you know, look at them, make sure everything looks like it's, they're down nice and flat. I can't see any light underneath them. I got them tightened up good. Then I kind of sight down the sight down them here, make sure I've got them level. I want one shooting kind of up and one not. So those look pretty good. I'm just actually just sight right down the, uh, the length of it there. And so now I'll turn both these on and go out and shoot some video, stereoscopic video that I can go back in and manipulate with Adobe Premiere Pro and make some 3D video. So that's my cool little rig I just added to the top of my little crazy steady cam. When I'm walking with it, I hold it just in the middle like that and it, it keeps everything fairly steady. You can still see me bob a little bit, but I can, if I need to smooth it out, I can smooth it out. And when I'm really looking at stuff really close and serious, that tans and turns really. And I like the way the uh, little foam rubber allows me just to turn. Like right there, and I can kind of almost be like like turning on a uh, tripod, even though there's no tripod there. So that's kind of cool. And that's the way I shoot a lot of my video, folks. And now I'm going to start posting some 3D video, a little stupid, what was it, maybe $7, 6 $7 addition to my steady cam. I should say, for uh, those of you going to go out and try this, this configuration here uh, that I've got with it real wide, I only use this for long distance type things. Like if I'm going to shoot down into the valley and I want to see the, the 3D from a long way off, the further apart you are, the better that works for distance. If I were going to shoot something up close, I'd go with these more inward, like maybe four inches apart uh, holes. And it do, definitely does do better for like you're going to shoot your cat up close or something six, eight, ten feet away. But if you're going to shoot something far in the distance, I kind of like putting the space between it. And I might actually, might actually make me one... I've got another piece of this aluminum I cut this one off of. I might make one that extends out maybe another four inches and shoot really broad things for like going into a big Appalachian landscapes where I wanted to show the, the kind of grandeur of it. So there you go. Hope this helps.